Oh ja, let's make the strongest German Reich. Very easy, basic research stuff as always. We don't need all of those boats. Let's go for like three on convoys and I honestly don't really care. There we go. The Scharnhorst. The big problem that we're gonna run into is we will early war, which means we will lose the Mifo builds very early, which gives us 25% construction speed and also less consumer goods, which is very nice. We will gain more by just early warring. As always with this whole series of strongest country, you can just use the strategy I used in my Japan guide of uh, decking on the Netherlands. You don't need mill access because you <laughs> you border them. And then through um, Suriname or even Curaçao, you can just attack Florida and easily cap the US and get all of the factories. By that point, you have won the game. I want to make this a little bit more interesting since, you know, I, I don't want to make this series like eight times and then every single time we just attack the US, you know, like, what's the point? Switch to cavalry as well for occupation. One rubber from the Dutch East Indies. It's perfect because we'll annex them later. So for the time being, they can get our mill factories. And then we also want a bunch of infantry. Don't think we can get that many out, but that's fine. We're gonna go with Model because he has brilliant strategist. And we can justify Port Poznan. One thing I really like as Germany is getting the four year plan. Once you're researching 1947 technology, so you can get early, like very early, you can get the 1939 tech. Yeah, let's go with army innovations. The strategy here is we do get an early Poland before anyone cares about Poland. And then we might be able to get the Soviets early. Yep, and then we get the armor bonus tag. So I'm gonna go for tanks this game, yeah. Germany, Germany is stupid. We import tungsten even though we don't need it. And then in the current patch, this is so nice. Oh, the army officers, or well, the, the chief of armies, they are so nice. Once again, dispersed because we will go for a lot of expanding early on. I didn't even know you could go for air animations too before getting air animations. That's interesting. The novel, novel, naval rearmament is also very nice. You get three dockyards for 35 days. You will have more factories, which might decrease because of consumer goods how many factories you have. So. We're not gonna go for it this time. Let's get Bormann. Now let's go for randoms. Surely the allies won't care. If you're going for a basic RT build, the difference between all of them is very small. I think only Mass Assault is bad in terms of numbers and Grand Battle Plan needs a lot of uh, preparation. But the math is very... There's a small difference between these. Obviously, superior firepower is better if you're going for a full-on artillery build and then mobile warfare if you're going for full-on for tanks and such. But it's about optimization, but the difference is very small. And we're gonna go for Bürging. We're gonna wait just a little bit longer, get them to level 2. We can start justifying on the Soviets. And then... Do -do 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 -do. Let's stack on the Polish. We will lose, as I said, we'll lose the Mifo builds, which is kind of sad. But we will get factories aplenty. We do lose something, but it's fine. Dancing is Demir. Demir. Demilitarized, so let's rush in quickly. Ugh. Don't think I've. Yeah, I don't think I've played Germany this patch. I don't know. I think I've not played Germany this patch. Because I don't think I've seen the event pop up myself. Um, you go here. And then you guys can go here. No! Attack. Perfect! We encircled them. Not that it really matters, you can just auto this whole... Like the front against the Polish, you can just auto, but... I want a micro... <laughs> I want mono... But... I'm having a stroke. I want to micro it a little bit, so we can get the... <laughs> so we can get the... Um... So we don't waste too much manpower and resources. Oh my god, that was so hard. We can also start working on the agency, which I should have done so much earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting rubble problems. The division is not getting supplies. They don't. They're not getting fuel. And then I will have 
all of Poland. Thank you very much. And we can invite the Kronstallians, but honestly, don't really care. Oh, Hungary! Hungary! That is, that is very interesting. Mm, I will keep this in mind. I think that's the best Indian accent I will ever do. <laughs> Seriously, it's not gonna get better than this. And I'm gonna lose a little bit of PP and consumer goods because Mifo war is over. Which is cringe, but yeah. Oh god, we don't even have enough civilian factory. We have two! We have two civilian factories. We do have collaboration government. I should have done this earlier because now we have the small problem of not being able to do both of these at the same time. But this is fine. Oh god, the Mifu builds will just crush us here. The Soviets, I say, let them. We have more stuff. Embargoed by the US, why? I haven't done anything to provoke legal action. And would you look at that? Green air, not really doing a lot of damage, but hey, we have green air, which is important. We're gonna go for Romania next. I did say this is the strongest Germany and I would never lie, never. If you want to go even harder, you could make a defensive line here uh, around the riverbank, or you could even release Ukraine. Let them grind a little bit. Wait, you're not- you're no longer getting war support from ace pilots! That's cringe. <laughs> oh my god, look at the strength! <laughs> They're all at half strength! I've not done anything! <laughs> I love the AI, man! Fr 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 Fritten and Brands, okay. Fritten and Brands announced an alliance, okay. I don't know how sex feels, but this feels better than sex. All of the green stuff, it's the same thing as with Vicky. Green arrows, oh. Paradox really knows how to do this. Then we can get the film industry for another 10%. It's actually very accurate since uh, Mr. Goebbels did quite a bit here. This one is very nice. I always go for the bombers because you just get 5% consumer goods for half a year and I don't really build tactical bombers. So it's just free consumer goods. Anschluss. Mr. Soviet, almost 1 million. I haven't done anything yet. Some of these divisions on this front line. Some of these divisions should not be on this front line, let's put it that way. Let's just make a push, see, see where we land. That's a decent amount of green. Hold up, what are, what are you doing, guys? I hate the AI, man. There we go. Got a few more pocket. We got big pocket, hairy pocket. Kingdom of Greece declared war in Albania. <laughs> what? <laughs> What did I do? <laughs> what? What? That, I've never seen this event. And then Himmler is also very good, yes. Oh god, what did I just say? Oh. Oh. And now, just give me everything, please. Thank you very much. Oh, I just can't. S Hello? Paradox? Paradox? Okay, I just couldn't scroll earlier. And then we also need engines because they need to keep up with the other tanks. <sighs> Playing Germany is hard. It's so exhausting. <laughs> and then let's work on this. Get the Sudetens. We can go for a little bit more expansion, but I don't want to do that. We do need to be quick here. So we will go for a little bit more expansion instead. Hungary is gonna fuck me. Actually, no, ah, yes. I'm a, I'm a genius. <laughs> this is all planned. Because we now, we will get integrated war economies, which will puppet Hungary and Romania if they so agree. If they are puppets, they cannot declare wars. Liberia joined allies. What have I done? Now we can also go for the Reichskommissariats, which is very nice. If you are at war with someone else, uh, Italy was in the war with you, you can take the Reichskommissariats and then puppet, for example, the Netherlands before the peace deal comes and then you will have them without spending points on it. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I didn't give the new ones an order. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna pick a guard and we will pray that we have naval superiority. The best way to make sure that you have naval superiority is to declare war on the British because then they'll instantly get called into the war before they can deploy their navy. But I will just declare on Belgium. Okay, actually we do have, once again, you can see the British army in its natural habitat. Nowhere close to Newcastle to defend the beaches. And as always, with the British, just use the fact that you have legs and the British do not. 
port of London and the UK is gone. Czechoslovakia joined Alas. Oh my god, that's so bad. It's so cringe. That's so cringe. I wish I anticipated that. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? What the fuck, brother? You don't have troops on the border. That's so weird. Getting an anti commandant pact. I guess against Paraguay. <laughs> The Belgians are giving me more trouble than the Russians. <laughs> oh, that is true and sad. Now you can attack and Rommel can attack, but Rommel doesn't really have anything to attack with because he has shite divisions. And look at that. Hagi has fallen. Wait, why? It's only me? I can't just take Ethiopia <laughs> because Italy is not in this peace deal. Fuck, I forgot about declaring a war on the then. Danish. Oh, right. We do get a war goal on the Netherlands. I forgot. Really just pulled a World War One there. Just forgot they existed. That took longer than in real life, but I guess that is no real challenge, huh? The London surrender. I, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I guess so, yes. Don't really know why London counts here, but, you know. <laughs> but hey, it's Hearts of Iron. Oh god, Hungary is... they built everything. But I will use my cheese again. So long... For such a long time... For, for so long as then till... For as long as I can until Paradox takes it away from me. Jesus fucking Christ. Yugoslavia refuses? That's cringe of you. You do know that I have complete access to your country. Alright, bruv. Let's go. You forced my hand. Let's finish this war quickly. Boom. Boom. Take everything. <laughs> Wait a minute, I forgot about Luxembourg! <laughs> Could fix the supply here, but honestly it doesn't fucking matter. Before Rommel can complain about supply, we will we will have crossed the border. Let me just look at this. This was so quick. And I'm not even running tanks. <laughs> this is not a tank battalion. Oh no, I'm getting a naval invaded. They took Hamilton. Come here. Yes. <laughs> Such a good boy. So cute. When it's late at night and he wants to get on my lap, he just sometimes just stretches and claws at me. Like, pets? Yes, pets. <sighs> Goodbye, Hungary. More like no gurry. It's just one more month. I'm gonna see if we can delay it. In one month we will get the Holop government. I think we didn't get it. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We did get the Holop government. It's mostly just the 30% compliance that I care about in this case. We will kill Italy. Egard, I can't because they're in my faction. Now I know I have a border down here, but I don't care. I'll wait a little bit longer for Japan. Normally I would attack Japan now, but they haven't taken China yet, so we do need to wait a little bit longer here. And start building a military complex in Russia because I can't be bothered to do, to micromanage this. Oh, and I just remembered railway guns exist. <laughs> no shot, Mussolini. You're not gonna get Dalmatia from me. Oh, cool. Defensive war. Could call in Bulgaria. Maybe they'll defend my borders. Because I seriously cannot be asked. Ah, oh, let's just blitz them. That's so cringe. She's using last stand. That's cheating. Okay, we got it. The majority of the Italian army should be stuck in northern Italy now. Also known as... Encircled. Wish I could look at the war stats, but... <laughs> One of those bugs again. No, oh, they're retaking land. I can't believe it. Yay. No, we will keep it. I can't look. I don't know how much we need. Oh, okay. This might be a bug because... No, that, that doesn't make sense. I was about to say uh, that it might be a bug because Italy was the only major in this war. So we got the civil war and then they capitulated in the same at the same time, but they didn't. So... 
I don't know why I can't annex them now. I thought they fixed that. How oh, mean? I, just, I don't know about this game, man. You feel like you do, and then stuff like this happens. And then you don't even know why you got out of bed this morning. Well, you know what? I'm gonna call it here. It is way too late, and I'll have to work tomorrow, so... At this point, I would just declare war on China, so we can get China early. Oh, quickly declare war on Japan and use, like, the Philippines as a jump-off point. That just saves me another 30 minutes. If you want the truly strongest Germany, take the Netherlands, take the US, hold up governments on the US. But this, this way, you don't have to worry about the Soviets. Like, it's a very chill game while you're at war with... Japan, you can just justify on, let's say, Saudi Arabia, 25 days. And then you have an easy world conquest here as well. 1942, and like 1940, we had everything except for the US. June 1941, we got the US as well, so like 